Coin6 is helping Oregonians seven weeks after the launch of a new system at Oregon's employment department that left them un unable to contact customer service for help. Yeah, today a woman in Albany says she was forced to go back to work before doctors recommended because she couldn't help the help she needed. Ariel Salk has been on top of this story since day one. She is live outside the Oregon employment office here in downtown Portland. Ariel, why couldn't she stay home and heal? Yeah, so Karina Thompson says her fam family and friends all pitched in to help her pay her bills, but she just had to get paid or else she could be at risk of losing her apartment. Now, Thompson says she enjoys her job at Bymart, but in March, she had to take several weeks off for abdominal surgery. Despite filling out the forms nearly 30 days before her surgery, she never got the money. She tells us without the money, she was forced to go back to work about a week before, a uh, week earlier, excuse me, than doctors recommended. While Thompson keeps getting notices on her account saying it's pending, she says Bymart received a letter on April 3rd saying she got the green light for at least 21 days. So Thompson wants to know why is she still waiting? It is. And um, for being a single woman, you know, it's hard. Oh, sorry. It's the latest in a string of stories from Oregonians frustrated with OED's lack of help. Since the website launched in late February, we've gotten various cases of people reaching out for help, only to wait for hours on hold, get hung up on, or just not get the money and the support that they need. Now, we did reach out to OED. Once again, they say they're empathizing with people, but say they delayed, quote, to make sure customers are both eligible for the program and that they are who they say they are. Right now, that's taking an average of 29 days. Now, we did reach out to the governor's office for a statement. We're still waiting for that. And Wednesday, OED is hosting their weekly media briefing where I'll be there to continue asking those tough questions. Reporting live outside the OED's office in North Portland, Ariel Salk, Coin 6 News.